Ted, you ready? I'll take that as a yes. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Aaron. Welcome to AD Keto. This is the place where every week I talk to you about the ketogenic diet. And today we're starting a recipe series that I'm going to call I Like to Eat. Today we're keeping it as simple as humanly possible, starting from the very, very most basic recipe I could think of, sugar-free jello. What you're gonna need are a few very simple things. A saucepan, one that's capable of holding two cups of water. You're going to need a liquid measuring cup, a bowl in which the jello will eventually rest, a fork, yes, a fork, and a packet of your favorite flavor of sugar-free jello. Today we're doing lemon. First things first, we're gonna take your liquid measuring cup, fill it up to the one cup mark, and start it to boil. Then immediately take your liquid measuring cup, again, fill it up to the one cup mark, and set it aside. And then we stare at the boiling water until it boils. So once your water's boiling, you're gonna dump it in your serving bowl. Then we're gonna take our box of jello, open it up. Inside is a little packet. We're gonna rip it open with our fork ready. We're gonna dump the mixture into our bowl. And the reason I use a fork is that when you stir this stuff into the hot water, it just, I think there's less surface area on the tines. I've used a spoon before and there's, there's a lot of jello looking stuff all over the spoon when I take it out. So I just use a fork. I find it's easier to mix it up that way. Dump that in and then start stirring. So we're gonna stir this for about 30 to 45 seconds until all the powder is completely dissolved in the hot water. Then we're gonna take our cup of cold water, which we set aside, and dump it into our bowl, mixing uh, again. So we stir this for about uh, another 30 to 45 seconds until it's all mixed together. Once it's all combined and all the stuff is dissolved, we just put it in the fridge for about four hours. I know it's kind of dumb to make a, a cooking video about Jello, probably the easiest thing in the world to make, but this has really become a staple of my diet. I used to have at night after work um, two, three, four bowls of cereal after after dinner as a snack, just watching TV. That's out. That's gone. Um, and now I have one of these, at least one of these, um, every night instead. Uh, and usually I'm making a double batch of these. So two cups of water to boil, put in two packets, two cups of cold water, um, and then I usually eat the whole thing. I made a double batch this morning. This flavor. Boing, 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 boing. It's ready to go. I mean, this, this would be delicious and perfect um, by itself, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the magic of this stuff. Heavy whipping cream. I am probably super dumb for not knowing this, but if you whip up heavy whipping cream, you get whipped cream. So about a third of a cup of heavy whipping cream into the mixer. This mixer actually was given to my wife and me as a wedding gift in 1998, and it stayed inside its box for almost 20 years. I dug it out of the attic this past spring um, when I discovered all the things I could do with it. It had been 19 years and it was in perfect condition. So I crawled around up in the attic and, and found the mixer and I was very pleased because it worked and it's awesome. Um, I use it almost every night. So you put about a third of a cup of heavy whipping cream into the mixer and I've kind of got it eyeballed. I know that when I dump it in, as soon as the little bottom part kind of disappears and it's covered completely by heavy whipping cream, that's when I stop pouring. And then I take a handful, a handful, no, a few drops of vanilla extract, uh, drip that in there. And I usually take about a teaspoon of Truvia. You can use whatever sweetener you like. I happen to be a fan of Truvia. I did use Splenda for a little while, but um, changed over to Truvia. I really like it. So you take about a teaspoon of this and dump this in and just start it to mix in. Slow it first so it doesn't splatter all over the place. And then high speed. So as soon as soft peaks form and the heavy whipping cream, I turn it off. The unwhipped stuff tends to climb up the sides here. I just give it a once over, get this kind of all mixed together. And then I whip it up a little bit longer. That should do it. And this is my favorite part, taking this off and giving it the old, you know, take that. And I'll just kind of blop it right on there, spread it around. I like to kind of, it's weird, but I like to kind of put a nice coating of uh, 
heavy whipping cream, heavy whipped cream, I should say, uh, around the top of this thing. So that's Jello, perfectly keto friendly. I'll flash up the uh, macros, even though there's almost nothing to Jello. But I'll flash the macros up on the screen here, and hopefully Jello does it for you in the evenings, like it does for me. Should I dig into it? Yes. I should dig into it. Okay, here I go. Oh man, that's good. There you go. Mm. <laughs> Love it! <laughs> so that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed um, this weird video about me making jello. Um, do you guys like jello? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. It really helps uh, me grow the channel. Hope to hear from you in the comments. You can follow me on Instagram at AD keto and on twitter at ad underscore keto and uh that is it i will see you next friday